Hey everyone, how's it going? It is either way, Randy Chavez coming at you today with a VV Omi Grumpy Cat update video. Guys, if you're new, welcome. If not, welcome back. I love y'all. Everyone say hello to Dashi. Hello, Dashi. Commenting, liking, and subscribing is a free way to help support the channel. Non free ways are Patreon. I'm smashing that super thanks button down below. Uh, this is not live, so no super chats. And uh, we'll get right into it. We'll get into the Omi first. Uh, Omi down about 3.1% on the day, which is a decent recovery considering we were down over 5.5%. At some point, getting down to that triple zero eight two mark, I don't think we went below it. There was an actual exchange. I'm not a hundred percent sure which one it was, but there was another exchange where Omi was down at triple zero seven three three. Again, I'm not a hundred percent sure which exchange that was, which is a very very stark comparison to the double zero one four that it was at over on. X markets, EX markets. Um, so it's E is an echo, X is an X-ray, markets.com. We were up at 0014, actually, oh, we're up 0015 yesterday, and now we're down to 0044. Um, and this is on X markets. And so there is trading volume on there. There's very little, but there is some. By the way, we, we got a new exchange. Uh, again, I don't think the volume for this, let's see the 24 hour volume. Uh, four. What? Four million? That doesn't make sense. Oh, okay. So the 24 hour volume, when it says 4,607,758, that's not the actual dollar amount. That's only 4.6 million OMI that's been traded on that exchange. So uh, <laughs> like $5,000. Uh, so very, very, very little. Um, this doesn't necessarily mean anything. I wouldn't say, uh, oh, we got a new exchange, you know, let's go, especially because it's trading so much over spot. It's trading that I, the only way I think you would potentially make money with this is if you have it on Bitforex, you buy it on there, you transfer it over and you have an EX markets account and you sell it on here. But again, there's only five, there's less than five, there's like $5,000 in volume over the last 24 hours. So clearly there's not a ton <coughs> of, uh, there's barely any volume at all on this. Uh, I, I assume this is just like a couple of people trying it. It's a relatively, it's a relatively small exchange anyway. Speaking of exchanges, you have Omili Tees, and be advised, I don't know where this information is coming from. This is completely unsubstantiated. I don't. This is not vetted. But he says David and Reese had said that they were waiting for the beginning of a bull run to get Omi listed. Um. Again, he does not provide a source. He does not provide a link. There is no. Uh, official link that I can see <coughs> where, where they both say that. Reese has not done interviews in quite a while, so I uh, do not believe anything came from him. Uh, and David, sell they, the team rarely sell, they seldom talk about the Omi token in general. So again, I don't think this is actual real news. I think this is just speculation. Um, that being said, well, I'll, I'll give you the reasons why more speculation. I do know that they're, they're not, they're not going to rush things in order to get stuff done for the bear market. Like they're not gonna be like, Hey, uh, the, or the bull market. Hey, the bull market, you know, the halvings on this date, we have to have this, this, and this done by this date. If not, just roll it on anyway. That's not like their mindset. That's not what they're doing. Um, that being said, <coughs> I also know that when things are ready, they're ready. And they're, <coughs> they're not going to, they're not going to, Hey, we are ready to roll out. Let's not roll out. Let's wait for the bull market. You know, um, they're not going to do that either. So, but again, they have a whole blockchain team, you know, there's like nine or 10 people on there. And that's just on the Ecomi side, not including other stuff <coughs> that is probably advising them, hey, you know, if you put on an exchange or two right now, it's really not going to do much. The only reason I think that we may or may not be able to get an exchange earlier is just if something happens with a Sendex or Bit4X, <coughs> you know, and they're just worried about liquidity for the token. And if that happens, okay, then you can roll out another exchange. And then this way it'd be um okay and that's fine but again you don't need a big top tier exchange <laughs> to replace bitforex or sendex um you might need again a smaller one a cex whatever like that speaking of those um we had a a little bit of a rough day with grumpy cat so grumpy cat which is really good for my new uh for my newer whale that really wants to get in because he's got uh we weren't able to sell a couple of his silver bars today we're gonna go sell a couple of his silver bars tomorrow and they're not like, you know, 10 ounce bars, they're like 100 ounce bars. <coughs> so he's going to get a nice amount of money. A decent amount's going to go into Grumpy Cat. Um, I don't think he'll be able to get in while it's under a $3 million market cap, but he might. If we did, we would have eaten up a good amount of the red candles today. 
Um, the speculation was that these guys had just got liquidated elsewhere. Um, and then they, but really we tracked the wallets and the wallets for the people that, that did dump today for Grumpy Cat. They were just degens. They happened to get in super lucky. Uh, you know, when this was like a hundred thousand, a couple hundred thousand, you know, they cashed out and they're onto the next thing. Uh, so it's, which is good. Cause it's not like, it's like a really big bag holder that was to the moon. And then he just, uh, you know, got liquidated. It was, it was something else. So these are, uh, in my opinion, uh, and again, obviously not financial advice, um, I should have a little bit of money coming to me on, actually, here she is right now. Uh, yeah, I'll have a little bit of money coming into me on Friday, so I'll get a little bit more as well. And there was, I was speaking to another whale today talking about it. I've been talking about hit, talking about it to him for a little while, and he says, okay, give me the spark notes on it. So, um, you know, shout out to DB Crypto that wrote this saying, listen, we're up, well, we were up about 370% from August 5th up until today. So we're still up about 250% since August 5th. Four CEX listings, a new... Uh, DEX whitelisted in OKX, DeFi wallet, and others. Over 3,000 Telegram members, close to 3,000 wallet holders. Daily spaces, calls to engage with the community. Uh, there are comic books being developed, as in multiple comic books being developed by the community members. Partnership for a revolutionary multi-chain bridge soon to be launched. And be advised, Bitcoin and ETH ETFs are going to be approved within the next six months, definitely before having. And Grumpy Cat Coin is paired with ETH, so as it pumps, so will Grumpy. A Bitcoin having uh, early in 2024. So those are the things that I kind of mentioned to him and he seems into it as well. He's just got to wait for one of his houses to sell and he's good. Plus another thing that's not yet um, announced for Grumpy Cat, but uh, that shall be announced probably before the end of the year. Anyway, getting to the VV news, we do have, uh, this is from Lucas Young over in the official Okomi Telegram group saying, as operations support manager at VV, I can tell you that everyone on the team is incredibly passionate about VV and works extremely hard right across the platform on this and a number of other initiatives, uh, talking about, well, talking about everything. Uh, the suggestion that anyone is being misleading or lying is pretty disrespectful to everyone who works crazy hours for you, our community. Many of our projects, especially the blockchain related ones, do have a number of hurdles to overcome, regulatory, technical, logistical, and the uniqueness of our platform and some of its technical components mean that it does take a lot of time to build deploy and test new features. We are still waiting for that, um, for the most recent uh, app update. That's been a while for that, but anyway, moving on. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so we update you when we can, but obviously it's something, if something takes longer than expected, which is often integration with an external partner, uh, that can lead, oh God, where'd I go here? So that can lead to disappointment. So for the most part, we try to make announcements when we have something specific to set in stone to say. Thanks to those of you who have stuck with us, lots of exciting developments to come. And again, this was from Lucas Young, who's operations support manager. Um, I wonder what other uh, messages we might get from the team in the next couple months. I don't know. Okay, so a lot of people are finally getting their Funko boxes. It was slow at first, but now there's a large, large stream of them. There's uh, a couple of hundred right now that have been delivered and redeemed, and again, more and more are coming every single day. Uh, and finally, finally, we have a uh, a secret rare, a chase, a gold and silver one. Uh, not gold, so a, a black and gold one. I mean, I got gold and silver on the brain. Uh, so the black and gold one is one of 50. Uh, the person that got it did get number 17, so that's really interesting. Uh, and again, the numbers doesn't have to be one through 50. It could be the mint number you can get could be number 3,000. Uh, which would actually be pretty cool as well, you know, as in the I Love You 3000 from the actual uh, Avengers and Iron Man movies. That'd be cool. And then it's just the last mint, which would be pretty legit as well. Uh, on top of that, um, there have been a number of sales just for the physical, like VV Code Be Damned. They're selling for a couple hundred dollars just for, because again, the Funko people, even though this isn't necessarily a super popular line, the gold line is actually one of the most hated lines, but they're... Despite that, there are still fans, there are still people that really want it, both in the U.S. and outside the U.S. And because it was only available in the U.S., you have people from all of Europe, Canada, Australia, etc., etc., that are going to want this. And again, um, as they, I don't think they were expecting the PV fam to go really go ham on this, and we did, and you know, it sold out in like 27 hours. Uh, I think they were like, oh, I thought I had more time for this. It's the gold I mean revived. Uh, what's up with VV? And... This is not also taking into account the amount of normal Funko people that went in, have no idea what VV is, and they're like, oh, 
All right, and, and they just don't know what to do with the code. Like, oh, digital stuff, uh, NFTs, uh, you know, because they don't know what it is yet. Um, shout out to those people making our investments scarcer. Um, there is going to be a bigger, um, there is going to be a, a couple of spaces on this. We have Eagle Eyes going on saying, hey, VV fam, assemble with us live event stage this Saturday, October 28th at 4 p.m., 4.30 p.m., I'm guessing Eastern Standard Time, he doesn't say, but 4.30 p.m. for an epic unboxing of our incredible Funko Gold 18-inch Marvel Iron Man collectibles. If you haven't unboxed your Funko yet, swing by and join us on stage. Are they doing this on Discord? Yeah, I guess they're doing this on Discord, which I don't know why you would do that on Discord and not like a Twitter Live or a YouTube Live. There'd be so much more viewers on that. Um, and you get a lot more traction. You can't see anything on the dis... I, anyway, um, that's what they're choosing to do. They're doing that. For those of you that actually want to see something, um, there will be a... I think this Sunday, an unboxing with Dr. Stuff, Mark Hun, Foster Hilt, uh, Danny the Bull, me, Tammy Hanna. There's going to be a whole bunch of people. Um, Sean from Comics and Crypto. There might be a couple of people from Comics and Crypto out there as well uh, that are going to do that and... Um, that's going to be Sunday. We're not a hundred percent sure what time, um, we wanted it to be on Monday. However, um, I'm around, I'm on the, around the Okomiverse, so we couldn't do that day. Uh, and then on the, around the Okomiverse, there is going to be a special guest. So definitely go and check, check for that. That's going to be at 6 PM on Monday, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, and I told him like, Hey, you're probably not going to want to do it on this day. Everyone's going to be watching around the Okomiverse for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I know why. But anyway, that number, um, that number 17 was listed on the market for 25K. And if I'm not mistaken, that person actually thinks it's worth 25K. <laughs> it's not worth that. Be advised, guys, if you get a low mint number, like a sub 41, that's really good. Um, very, very few, few of those on the app. Um, usually what we have for, you know, really scarce and popular VV collectibles is that we have a little bit of a pump because people FOMO. And then as more and more of them come out, like there's going to be dozens of those sub 41s because that's how many there are. There's 40 of them. Um, you know, let's say take away five because there is people that are going to get the physical and they have no idea what the QR code is. They know no idea what VV is. I'm going to throw that away. Um, so some of these won't be redeemed. But let's say 36 of them are still out there. There's still a couple dozen or a few dozen of them uh, that are going to be sub 41s. There's obviously going to be, you know, nine that are single digit. Um, you know, if you have a really low mint number right now, again, n none of them have sold yet. Um, I don't think anyone's going to FOMO into it and pay in the five figures. Like if it's the number, you know, a single digit, maybe, uh, you know, number one, two, you know, one through nine, you might get close to that. Uh, obviously the number one, David, and, and this is only for the gold, uh, the black and gold Iron Man that he had 40000 for. Uh, I don't think he's going to do that for any of the others. Um, if, if there is the number one uh, on the others, then it'll... I don't think it'll be 40 k It might be. It might still be five figures, but it, it might not be that, that grand. Um, yeah, so you're just going to see that kind of... That threshold that what people are willing to pay will probably dwindle for a little bit up until, you know, they're gone. And then, hey, you know, it takes a little while, people move on to the next thing, whatever. And then, you know, it starts to go up, especially in the bull market. So again, that's just kind of my prediction of things. Uh, it's just, I, again, from what I've seen, whether it's Hulks, whether it's Luke Skywalker's, the, you know, orig not the original Iron Man, the OG, the, um, you know, the, the animated Iron Man, Astro Boy. That's just what happens. But that being said, the physical, we have uh, Mark J. Dunst going saying $200 for the physical common. Guess some Funkoers were unprepared for the sellout. And yeah, $200 just for the physical common. The, no VV code needed, uh, which I thought, again, was really, really cool. Be just because um, you could, you could, you can kind of double dip. You could sell the digital, sell the physical, and you can get, you know, double your money, which is nice. And that's just for the common. My strategy, um, because I, ugh, um, <laughs> I, I'll, I'll probably sell mine. Um, I, unless I get, I, unless I get like an actual, like a really good one. I mean, well, if I get a really good one, I'll definitely sell it. But, um, 
you know, if I get a cool rare, you know, or, or an ultra rare, you know, I'll, I'll probably keep it because those are, they're, they're very scarce. Um, but the common, uncommon, eventually I'll just be able to buy that anyway for not a crazy premium. And, you know, I'll, pro I'll probably, sell, I might even sell it uh, unredeemed because as a lot of people redeem theirs and they're not the number ones, you know, the, the sealed ones, which by the way, you have until 24 September, 2024, in order to redeem that. It's not six months anymore. You have 11 months in order to redeem that. Uh, so we could possibly go 11 months without the uh, number one being redeemed. And if that happens, those are going to go sky high. <laughs> like that's going to be, it's going to be wild. You, you could actually get five figures probably for an unredeemed one. Um, but again, for me, uh, you know, if, if I get that, I'll, I might sell it unredeemed. Uh, just, I have to see what people value that at and, you know, vice versa. Let me know, comment down below what you would pay or what you would like to sell, what amount of money you would like to get for an unredeemed secret rare or unredeemed any of the rarities. Shout out to Fawcett17 over on the VV app that is a master collector and has just reached MCP level 69. Everyone comment nice down below with the 69. Uh, he's got 1.6 million points. That's great. Good times. We have a little bit of food utility here from Richard Valinsky saying free food for you and your friends at our restaurant in the Bay Area, but the non-influencers need to prove they have 10 million Omi. Uh, and if you do, so let, let me know if you're in the Bay Area and you have 10 million Omi, we can get you some free food. Good times. Oh, uh, ARC Spot Bitcoin ETF is now listed on DTCC. So shout out to Kathy Wood um, and ARK Invest. Can't wait. Oh, and we have a spooky silhouette season. The United States Postal Service digital collectible stamp offers um, stamp art offers fun, frightful scenes that celebrate Halloween. So there's four pieces that are coming in a blind box, uh, waitlist format on Sunday, 29 October at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I can't wait for those. I really like those. Queen Vivi or at Lori Brenner 13 over on the Twitter or X saying the Queen is pleased to bring back the legendary Alfred Kahn to discuss his new projects, New York Comic Con, and kick off the Queen's Court charity auction to support the First Responders Children's Foundation. David Yu has generously donated something special for the auction. I wonder what David has donated. I wonder what it's gonna come with. Will it come with additional? Well, I won't I won't give away anything yet, uh, but we'll probably have Lori on the podcast in order to go and promote this. It's gonna be super, super exciting. I can't wait for it. Again, anytime Al Khan comes on, it's a good time. Moving on. Oh, the time. <laughs> That's going to be on Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I will see you all there. Oh, also for these United States Postal Service stamps, these are the first ever animated United States Postal Service stamps. So that's pretty fun and exciting as well. <sighs> okay, so uh, Will from Cryptoys had um, talking about, hey, here's what the uh, bar is going to look like, um, the, the nav bar eventually, which I think is going to be pretty cool. Uh, it's going to have an arcade type of thing down there. Uh, you're going to have some other stuff. I'm not really sure what it means. Um, but but that type of arcade is like, okay, they're still building. That's that's really cool. Uh, we have somebody ask, is there any progress on the marketplace? And then Will says, yeah, it's actively being worked on with lots of care and consideration. And they're aiming to get it out in the first half of 2024. And it'll have lots of industry firsts baked into it. Um, I really wish he didn't give a timeline. Because again, I like Cryptoys. I, I don't have any of the cryptoids, but I do like the platform. I like that they're going and they're basically using VV as the blueprint for their business model, which is great. Uh, sincerest form of flattery. And, and again, because they have Disney and Star Wars, you really want them to do well. You want the space to grow and you want the hobby to grow. Um, I wish he hadn't given a timeline on that, though, <laughs> just because obviously, as said before, um, you know, with the communications guy from from Akomi, uh <coughs> things take time and things get delayed. It's tech. It'll often get delayed. Um, and I, I don't, uh, I hope they get it out. <laughs> I hope they get it out. It's, it's hard to, uh, it's really hard to function without a marketplace. You, you don't have money coming in unless you do drops and there's not a ton of users on there. So I'm really hoping that they go and, and they get that done as soon as possible. Anyway, that's it for me. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Everyone say bye-bye to Dashi. Bye-bye, Dashi. I love you guys. Goodbye. Meow, 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 meow. Oh.